the punk stuff. Punk? Yeah. Singles or albums? Yeah, albums. Just doing it. Growing up, um, um, not actually growing up, but when I was older, there was a real shortage of them, really. So, why do I have to jump on a train anymore in places like Brom and like Liverpool and that when I could open my own? So, that's what that's you know, that's what I did. The internet, obviously, I mean, it's all there, click of a mouse, isn't it, really? But I mean, I attract customers from around the country and also places like Japan, Russia, America, who are happy, you know, to, to fly over to have two to three days in here, really, you know, ju just actually hunting out um, the collectibles, what they're actually after. There's a Russian gentleman who's due over in the next two weeks. Um, they fly over jump on a train and they come in and they, um, they buy between two to three hundred albums at a time. There's one thing we've got going over here, is that, you know, the British music, I mean, of the time, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Who, no other country really had that, did they? So, I mean, although we're suffering over here with jobs and industry at the moment, uh, the musical history, what we've got, um, is wanted, you know, around the world, really. I prefer them to our uh, CDs because of the bigger, you've got more, more to look at. So, uh, it just seems that there's a lot more effort has gone into making records than there has gone into making CDs. You know, there's a lot more thought process. It's just a lot better, I don't know, just all round, you know what I mean? Northern Soul. How would you define it though? B because you could have anything from, say, uh, the Supremes to, say, Frankie Valley to some obscure. It's just what gets people up, and you know, like I mean, I mean, it's like a genre. What you can't really say is like soul or because it just covers everything, really. I mean, it's like, I mean, a great night as well. It's like friendly, you know, there isn't any trouble. Um, you know, the music's absolutely great. Um, plus, I suppose, the original guys now are getting older a little bit. The kids have grown up. Uh, they've got a bit of, like, you know, surplus income. They want to do it all over again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same. Oh, don't hear me. What did you buy me at the fair? I love browsing. I've been through every one of these records in this shop over the last, well, I've been coming to Rob for over five years, and I think he started off with one little box, and we have been through this lot God knows how many times. So, <laughs> I've been through these hundreds of times, and then any other records, and I do buy at venues as well. I've got friends who put me onto records, so, you know, I still haven't lost the appetite for records, <laughs> but I don't say nothing to the wife. <laughs> <laughs> right place, right time for vinyl, especially if you're after the big stuff. But it's nice getting the five pound stuff, that is the best stuff, because, you know, you're not wasting your money at five, ten pound, because... There's a load of good records for five and ten pound. And then, but on the northern scene, a lot of people buy the boots for ten quid. You know, so... But there's still loads of good records in here. And I'll support this guy as long as he's got a shop. <laughs> yeah, the next stage is open a larger shop. Um, it's absolute priority at the moment. No, what I want to do with a larger shop is have like a rubber sole live lounge as well. So I could incorporate live music actually in the shop as well. I mean, a bit like um, Rough Trade, obviously, as well. Um, that's the plan, really. And also a small label as well, which I'm just 
trying to get off the ground at the moment. Why is it so good? Vinyl compared to CDs or iTunes. Well, it's things like the sleeves, isn't it? It's like, you know, you don't get that on a CD or an iTunes, really. And it's just an absolute blast in it. <laughs> 